Hey, what's up everyone? I am Tor Volderuz and today I'm bringing you an updated T4 electrical Gila. This has been tested with the new Abyssal update that has happened recently. So what you're seeing here is a fully operational fit that can even work for alphas if you switch out a few modules. In this video, I'll show you how this handles the new Sancha, Angel, and Kikimura NPCs. Be aware that if you're trying to use this fit as an alpha, you want to max out all the relevant skills, drones, missiles, and shields. This fit is a nice cheap version that can run T4 electricals efficiently and easily. Things can get dicey, but here are my numbers, so check yours against mine if you have any worries. While running this fit, I didn't need any implants or boosters, but you can use them to help and feel a little bit safer. I'll have the fit on my EVE workbench page, and I'll drop the fit in the description below. The first room here was one of my main worries, due to the fact that electrical weather reduces EM resistance and the Sansa rats do EM damage. As soon as you come into this room, send your drones straight to the Phantasm NPCs called Devoted Knights. If they're left unchecked to fire on you, your tank will struggle heavily under the combined pressure of the cruisers and frigate NPCs. So you're best off taking out the highest damage first. Once you finish the cruisers off, which should happen quickly, you can free fire on the small stuff. If you're looking to get some slight increase in damage, you can invest in 3% implants, which are usually 20 million isk a piece and can give you a bit more DPS. You can use the 3% slot 9 damage and the 3% slot 10 rate of fire to increase your DPS. These aren't necessary, but if you want that little bit of extra DPS for an extra 40 mil isk, that's an option. A quick note, if you'd like to talk to people about the Abyss and want to know more, join the in-game channel Abyssal Lurkers or join the Abyssal Lurkers Discord which will be linked below. The next encounter in the Abyss is the Angel NPCs. These NPCs are fast and hit hard while also applying a lot of different E-War. Your tank here shouldn't have any issues so nothing to sweat. Also, because you're in an electrical site, you don't have to fear newts as much as you do in other weathers. Typically, newts are the first target, but with capacitor bonus from the weather effect, you can have a little more room to play with. This room wasn't difficult at all. The Gila made short work of the new Angel NPCs. These Angel encounters are tough to handle for frigates because of their speed and application, but in this Gila, electrical, you'll be fine. The next room I wanted to show you is the Kikimora room. Kikimoras are pain outside of the abyss being a popular ship choice for hunters. In this encounter, my tank definitely struggled. If your tank does struggle, use heat. While running this fit, I didn't bring boosters at all and I relied on heat for tougher situations. If you find yourself in a situation where you have to heat a lot, you can repair one adaptive and one booster at the same time once you get the DPS down. You'll want to focus missiles and T2 drones on the same target, burning the Kikimoras down one by one before they have a chance to ramp up to an unbearable amount of DPS. It wouldn't be a bad idea to throw heat on your missiles at the start to kill off Kikimoras as quickly as possible. The last encounter I wanted to show you is nothing new, though I wanted to show it because this one can be tough. I decided to go for the ghostings first even though I should have focused on the Vedmax initially. There isn't much piloting or anything required on your part, the Gila is a pretty easy ship to fly, just blast the Vedmax down as quickly as possible before they ramp up high enough to break your reps. 
Even though capacitor isn't too much of an issue, starving Vedmax do a great deal of nuding over time, so best to take them out first. That's it for the electrical Gila. This has been a really easy fit to fly, as always, with the Gila. Using this fit, you shouldn't have any issues while farming Abyssals. I've been slow with getting new content out there. The new Abyssal stuff has been out for a while, and this is my first video. I'll be working on new fits and new videos, so if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below or poke me on Discord. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the Abyss.